Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making nacho mac and cheese. I've not made this before and it's something I'm literally just going to throw together. Uh, we get this nacho cheese mix. All you've got to do is just make it to the direction. So we're going to start off with a pint of milk. I've already boiled, my, boiled and drained my pasta ready. And I'm doing them in these little takeaway containers because they're actually for some older people that I'm making some meals for. So all it is is wait for that to heat up. I'm going to add in our... No, that did. This makes it go really nice and thick. So if I need to add a little bit more, we can. And for the rest of the ingredients, you're going to want some cheddar cheese. I've got mature because I love strong cheese. We had some Doritos left over, so I just crumbled them up to put on the top, as well as some breadcrumbs to go on the top. I think that's literally it. So we've just got to wait for this to boil up. Right, this is nice and bubbly and thick. So we're just going to add some of our cheese into it. I don't measure on this, do it as much as you like or as little as you like. But I'm a cheesy person, I love cheese, so we're going to put a big handful in. To be fair, this sauce is amazing on its own. We have it so much with like nachos and stuff like that. It is really tasty on its own. But I just want to add a little bit extra flavour into it. There we go, All right. I'm happy with that. And now we're going to add in our pasta. Oh, that's a big lot of pasta. I just did a whole bag. Oh, this ain't going to work out well, let's see. Wait, let's dig in. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, oh. I thought it was going to fall in then. God, I can't even half of it, look. Slowly come out. Oh, it's just stuck. There we go. And you get there in the end. That is terrible. Right. Looks like hula hoops. And you just give that a good mix in. Get it, make sure it's all nice and covered in the sauce. Sludgy. Beautiful. Just for good measure, I'm going to add in a bit of extra cheese, I think, because I want it to go a bit stringy. Test it. Mm. Add some pepper into that. set one up and show you what I'm going to do and then I'll do the rest. Well, that spoon's going to take forever so on a different one. I'm not going to fill them right up because I want to add some bits to the top. And that'll do. And then I'm going to add the cheese. I got my oven preheating at 180 
and I'm going to put it in there for about 15 minutes. I'll just keep an eye on it because everything's cooked. I'm literally just going to put this brown in the top off. So I'm going to sprinkle on a few breadcrumbs just to help give it that nice golden crunch. And the same with the Doritos. Give it that nice crunch. That looks amazing. Nacho, nachos. Mm. And just for good measure, a bit more cheese on top. Right, we'll come back once this comes out the oven. Right, they've been in the oven for 15 minutes. The cheese is all nice and gooey and melty and it's gone all nice and crunchy on the top. I have literally just poured these out, so. That's both hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really, really nice. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.